The Knowledge Capture Anti-Counterfeit platform enables users to capture and manage the entire end-to-end -end counterfeit process. A critical component of this is the ability to capture and review retail transactions as and when they happen across the web. On marketplace sites, a lot of content can potentially be sold as counterfeited goods, and it's important to understand who's selling these goods, for what price they're being sold at, and when. Knowledge Capture can automatically trawl these sites to capture millions of transactions, and then uses content analytics and natural language processing to understand the content, the review information, and can analyze this information against various whitelists, retail price information, and historic purchase information. Once this content has been understood, the Knowledge Capture platform can automatically process this information into various work queues, whether this be a cease and desist process, a takedown process, or whether a counterfeit case be created. When looking online, you'll never find a product actually say it's counterfeited. However, when you look in the review information, you might find additional information. It could be that the packaging was already open when it was delivered, it didn't quite smell right, or it didn't quite last lo as long as before. We can take this content and we can push this through our content analytics engine to understand the keywords and phrases that we're particularly interested in. In this example, we've picked up that the packaging was already open, didn't smell like the genuine product, and they'd not buy from them again. When all three are combined, we can then trigger this to an investigator for them to take a look at further to see if this was genuinely a counterfeit product. Content is available all across the web and all across various marketplaces, whether it be eBay, Amazon, Alibaba, or Tabo. Along these marketplaces, we capture content such as the review information, the price, and also who the seller is as well. And all of this content can then be checked against various verification points in order to understand a confidence level. So how confident is the organization that this is counterfeited or not. Knowledge capture can also be used for real-time marketplace listing analysis in order to capture large quantities of data based around certain products or brands. All of this content can be captured from various marketplaces such as Alibaba, eBay, Tabo. And this will capture information such as pricing data, who the seller is, the location where these products are being sold, and also the review information as well. Once we've captured this content, we're able to feed this into various systems, one of these being the seamlessly integrated IBM IT platform. Within IT, we're able to chart large quantities of data and able to pick out networks and individuals regarding this content. In this particular example, we've captured listing information from eBay, brought all of this content back onto a chart where we can see various products have been sold by various sellers around the outside. This particular seller highlighted in red has been picked out because he seems to have been associated with a number of different sales. Within this particular chart, we can see information relating to who this person is, the location they're from, and also a link back to their eBay page. But the products that are being sold as well are also captured on this chart. We capture information such as the price, the transaction date and time, and also links back to when the original listing went onto these marketplace sites. When combined with the data from watch list, for example, we're able to understand if there's a known seller or if they're brand new to the organization. This can then trigger a further investigation process that may just focus on this individual that we've identified in this large amount of data. Knowledge capture is also integrated with emails and has been set up to capture a vast amount of content related to spam type emails. This type of content comes into everyone's inbox on a daily basis where certain products and brands are being offered for certain percentages off or when there's discounts available that are potentially higher than what you'd expect online. Knowledge capture can take the content of the emails understand who has sent these particular emails along with the pricing information and validate this against various checklists, watch lists, white lists, for example, in order to build a confidence score as to how likely we think certain goods are being counterfeited. This can then trigger the next steps of investigation, 
where investigators can take a deeper look into the products being sold and a deeper look into the sellers and can even lead to a cease and desist process. Within our knowledge capture platform, we can start to understand the content as and when it comes into the system. So if I hover over this particular name, we can see this comes under the category blacklist. If I hover over the percentage off, when co in combination with a blacklisted seller, we can say that this product is probably counterfeited. This data can start to be visualized within the I2 platform, where we can then start to build links and build connections between content that's being posted. It could be that we found multiple, multiple emails related to this particular seller, and we can then start to see what that looks like. The next step of this is taking a whole host of data contained and captured along with these emails. For example, we can start to capture IP information and DNS data in order to understand exactly where this content is being published from. Now, although this chart has a lot of information on, we can also look to visualize this differently. By selecting all of this content and sending it to a mapping tool such as Google Earth, this then gives me a different representation as to where this content has been coming from. We can see quite clearly on the southwest point of Australia, there is a certain PC that is being used to distribute the vast majority of this content. We can track this progress throughout the world using this tool in order to understand where the content is ending up. You can see a lot of traffic, a lot of information on the east coast of the USA. Again, this is just a different data channel that the Knowledge Capture Platform can utilise and different ways of visualising this data to make investigations as easy as possible. The Knowledge Capture Platform also offers capabilities around physical investigation and physical seizures. A mobile application enables agents in the field to scan unique identifiers such as barcodes or batch numbers in order to bring up the latest documentation to help them identify if a good is counterfeited or not. The Knowledge Capture Anti-Counterfeit mobile application enables users within the field to identify when physically seized goods are potentially counterfeited. Within this mobile application, we're able to publish message of the days, which enables users to get updates based on certain batch numbers or barcodes that have already been identified as being counterfeited but it also enables users to be able to scan a barcode or a unique identifier on a particular product. If I hit the scan button, this then launches the camera and I can then view my product. And as we come down to the barcode, this will do an automatic lookup to find any documentation related to that particular product. By clicking the view option, I then get to look at this content and with standard mobile functionality, I'm able to pinch and zoom to check out what might be different about this particular product. As I go through the document, it gives me hints and tips as to where I need to be looking in order to identify whether or not this is counterfeited. For example, at the very bottom, it could be the O in compressed is actually a leaf, whereas in the counterfeit version, they might not have replicated that properly. This documentation can be uploaded by the brands in order for them to manage versions, make sure the agents in the field are always using latest documentation, or it could be technical documentation, technical drawings, and all of this can be defined based on a user's security settings as well. So if there is highly sensitive information, it can all be encrypted and can be stored securely. As a user of the system, I also have the ability to then provide feedback on that documentation. It could be that I spotted something new that I want someone to investigate further, or it could be that I found it incredibly useful or didn't find it useful. This can then be fed back into the business where they can then start to update their documentation in order to make the process of identifying counterfeit goods as useful as possible. What I can also do from within the mobile application is actually launch a report function and kick off case creation. By hitting the report option in the top right hand corner, I can look to add an image of this particular product that I have in front of me so if I click the add button, again, we leverage the camera capabilities. If I zoom in, it could be that I've noticed some information on this uh, particular part isn't quite right. I can snap that photo, I can use it. And what I can then do is append multiple photos to a central system. 
I can then start to index this case slightly. So in this example, we we can say it's a counterfeit good. However, if we're also finding content that's related to the grey market, pirated or unspecified, we can put that within the application. I can then also define based on a region as well. So at the moment, we've got a few key regions within this application. We could also break this down by specific countries. In this case, if I just say South Africa, and I can then start to input some basic report comments. So it could be a case of I've been alerted by a port authority, by customs agents. I've gone down to a certain location, picked this content up, and I believe it's counterfeited. We may then need to start a further investigation. So once I hit submit, this will then give me the case number that I've now generated, so 1565. This is automatically generated each and every time a new case is generated within the system. And it means that if I want to append further documentation, reports at a later date, I now know the case number that I can then input information into. The case could also be triggered off the head office where an investigator can then take over this process and actually start to process this investigation all the way through to resolution. Back within the mobile application, I also have the ability to look at batch numbers as well. So if there's a specific batch number that I'm interested in um, that I may have found on a product, and I want to check to see if it's on a hot list, on a watch list that's already been identified as being counterfeited, I can simply input the batch number here. Or I can simply browse through the brands. And what this enables me to do is select through the brands and basically find products and then sub products in order for me to actually find any documentation relating. So it could be that the counterfeit job is so bad that the unique identifier is hard to identify. It could be there's issues with the barcode, issue with the printing, in which case I'm still able to narrow down my results and find what product I have in front of me and the relevant documentation associated to that product as well. This solution all links back into the Knowledge Capture Cloud where all the relevant documents and details are being held within a secure archive. And as before, all of this information can be defined based on security profiles, making sure that only the right people have access to the right documentation. Once goods have been identified as being counterfeited, all of this data can be stored within the Knowledge Capture Case Management System. Cases can be kicked off via the mobile application where a physical seizure occurs or can be generated via data found across the web via various marketplaces. The case management system is a central archive for all case-related data. This content can be defined by case type, whether it be counterfeit, grey market, pirated for example, and all of this can send it down a different work queue and can, assigned, can be assigned to different users depending on their expertise. Countries, regions, states are all defined within these cases, depending on where the products are actually found. And unique reference numbers can also be assigned and generated to these particular cases in order to track it through to resolution. In the middle, we have document viewers that can read any type of electronic document, whether it be an image, a report, video or voice file. All of the content that relates to this particular case can be stored and will be stored through the life cycle until this case is completed. This case system can also be used during the takedown process. So when emails or marketplaces have been identified as selling counterfeited related goods, we have the inbuilt integration with Microsoft Office to generate various takedown notices. By opening this document, it will take information from this particular case and start to auto-populate this letter. Within Microsoft Office, we now have a letter template that has been automatically generated and can help speed up the process of takedown notices. As we scroll through, it includes all relevant information, including links as to where the content was actually found and information as to what needs to happen in order to comply with this notice. At the top, Case Manager has been integrated with Microsoft Office, meaning documents can be saved back into the case system or sent to a print queue and it will be stored with this case all the way through to resolution. And back within our case view we've now got a copy of the letter we've just created. All of the content being captured and processed via the case management system is also available via drillable dashboard reporting. 
being able to understand exactly what's happening within this case system and understand the values associated to the cases is imperative for organisations. These charts feature a number of core different ways in which you can actually view this data to make it actionable intelligence inside the business. In this view, we're currently looking at the seizures by category, where we can start to understand and see that the personal categorization is quite clearly having the most amount of counterfeited goods. As a business, we may, may need to look at the manufacturing chain or the distribution chain in order to understand why this is the case. It could be there is a break in that chain that we now need to fix. We can also start to report values associated to these particular categorizations as well. So at the bottom, based on the numbers that have been inputted into the case management system are all reflected on this particular screen. By clicking on any of the line items, we're able to drill into that particular categorization and see the data that's just affecting that particular chart. If we now take this selection and look at it geographically, we can start to see where the hotspots are as to where the most amount of counterfeited goods are being picked up from. By clearing this selection, we can also see on a global picture just where these counterfeit cases are currently being processed and where they're currently being managed. In this particular chart, the darker the blue is where the most amount of costs associated to counterfeit cases are occurring. It may be we need to take a business decision to deploy more local resource in order to understand why counterfeit is so rife in certain countries and certain places. We can also take this data and display it across various different dashboards. We can then start to understand if something is based on the export, if it's been picked up during an inland operation, or it could have come from a website. So all of the ways that we've shown how you can capture and identify counterfeit products all feed through via the case system into this dashboard reporting capability. The Knowledge Capture platform can also leverage social media content in order to help investigators understand when there's common connections. By using content analytics, we can understand the content being posted online to look out for when counterfeit related products are being sold. We'll also identify how these individuals may be connected across social media, which could be a missing link within an investigation. Within our platform, we're able to capture the content of individuals of interest in order to understand what they're looking to sell online or what they've tried to be sold online. In this particular post, we've picked up a discount level of 75% off, but we also pick up geolocation information, so we can start to understand where these goods are being sold. By clicking on the pin, it takes me through to Google Maps, where then I'm able to leverage Google Street View in order to understand exactly where this content has come from. Now, in this particular message, it's a tweet, and as I scroll around, we can see the pin here and the location of the post. Social media content can also be leveraged within the i2 platform. And in this particular example, I've expanded on the friends of this particular person of interest in the middle in order to understand who they're connected to. I can also search for new individuals and add them to the chart. By adding this individual to the chart, it will add this entity in a separate location as they're not currently connected to any of the other entities on the chart. I can right click, go down to the SMC4 option and expand on friends. This then makes a direct connection to the social media sites in order to bring back common connections. We now have two blooms of data and in the middle we have accounts that we're particularly interested in. This type of network analysis is very useful in the counterfeit scenario because we can identify who the sellers are, who the buyers are of these products, but also potentially who the manufacturers are as well. These links might not be available anywhere else apart from on social media. Therefore, it's critical to take this additional data source and utilize it within investigations. We can do further analysis into this data and bring back a lot more content onto a single chart. In this particular example, anything highlighted in red is connected to two or more individuals on the chart, and anything in purple is between three or more individuals. We can then start to focus our investigation on those individuals or on those accounts that are most linked with the others. 
the knowledge capture platform can also leverage closed group information on social media. Becoming ever more popular, closed groups enable individuals to spy and sell products online. However, not all of these products are genuine and there is a need to understand when counterfeit goods are being sold. Unless you're part of the group, you will never understand the content or the products being sold. However, Knowledge Capture is a member of over 1,500 closed groups on social media sites. This provides the capabilities to organisations to search for this content across these pages in order to understand who is selling the content and then investigate and analyse this data further. Knowledge Capture is able to analyse the content it captures via various data sources against watch lists. This helps businesses understand when they've been potentially trading with people of interest or utilising organisations that are on various watch lists. When this content comes through into the system, various keywords and phrases, along with names, ports and transport organisations, can all be flagged up against various watch lists. In this case, we've integrated with the Dow Jones watch list so we can understand when special interest banks are identified, special interest people, ports, and even special interest ships. This can all help build a picture in order for an investigator to understand the processes that a good has been through in order to be manufactured, but also to understand moving forward if they should be working with certain organisations to avoid their goods being counterfeited. This concludes the overview of all of the features and functions that can be included within the Knowledge Capture anti-counterfeit application. If you'd like further information or if you have any questions, please email us at sales at integrity.com or visit the webpage at kc-ol.com forward slash counterfeit.php. Thank you very much for your time.